Welcome to Amigo's Cook Room. Today we'll teach you Ganesh Chaturthi special sweet laddu. Before we start, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates in the future. Stay with us till the end for more tips regarding this recipe. Ingredients needed I've taken here 1 cup of besan. We need water, 3 4 cup for the batter and 1 cup for the sugar syrup. Yellow food color. Some lightly toasted charmagaj or melon seeds. Crushed pistachio for garnishing. 2 to 3 small cardamom. 1 cup of sugar. And 1 cup of ghee for deep frying the bodies. I've taken here a perforated grater. You have the small holes over here. They will be perfect for frying the bundis. Now for the method. In a mixing bowl, I've taken the basin. Now I'm adding 2-3 to three drops of the yellow food color. Now gradually I'll be adding the 3 4 cup of water and mixing it well. A smooth batter should be formed without any lumps. The consistency of the batter neither should be very thick nor very thin. It should be something like this. Now in a karai, I've added the ghee and heated it and I've taken this perforated grater with small holes. Slowly I've started pouring the batter on the grater. Pour a small quantity of the batter at one time. Then you'll be getting fine boldies. Fry these boldies for around 30 seconds and then transfer it into a separate bowl. Before frying the next batch of boldies, keep in mind to wash and clean the grater. Otherwise, you won't be having clear bodies. Repeat the process again. And fry them in small batches. After frying the boothies, it's time to make the sugar syrup. I've added 1 cup of sugar and 1 cup of water. Mix them well and give it to boil. Add a few drops of the yellow food color into the syrup. Now add the cardamom, give it a quick stir, boil it till it becomes a bit sticky. Now 
You don't have to bring any string consistency, it should be a bit sticky only. Now gradually transfer the boondies into the syrup and mix well. Cook them well at least for 5 minutes and then cover and cook at least for 10 minutes on high flame. After that, you will get to see that the sugar syrup has been absorbed by the boonies. Take out them in a separate bowl and after cooling a bit, add the toasted char magash to the boonies. It is better to apply some ghee on your palms and then take desired portion of the boonies and give them the round shape Last, garnish it with some crushed pistachios and your laddus are ready to serve. Now for the tips. Fry boonies in small batches so they do not get entangled and don't keep the grater too much away from the hot pan as it won't be giving round boonies. If you have liked today's video then like, share and subscribe.